so like, yeah. So you got stuff like the rest of us. I love that. Three, two, one. So we have, right. we have Samus. I don't see as much of that often. Honestly. Yeah, this is an interesting. I don't know if I've seen this matchup that much. It seems interesting because I feel like these characters both kind of operate similarly. Uh -oh. uh, but they kind of rely on different aspects of like, they're both kind of zoners, uh, but Samus has more range, whereas uh, Rob has amazing train damage. Uh, and I think that that's kind of, in, in the end, that's oh again. my god. I'm sorry, that's not again. Not quite. Oh, that, uh, oh whoa. Why? Even Dill was like, what happened? That, that was, that was, that was uh, DI, that had to be DI. That was DI, a... that was drifting back into the blast zone. Pretty sure he was already out of hit stuff. Yeah, he, uh, he just kept going. He's like, oh no, I meant to DI that into the blast zone. Hold on. It was really odd. <laughs> we can probably watch it back because I looked away after a little bit. I thought he was going to come back. I was like, oh, he's fine. Yeah, honestly, that's a monumental stock loss, though. Already, you know, you have your work cut out for you facing off against Dill. And Dill with the lead? Oh, she is such a menace. Good for not releasing on the arm rotor, because there's always that final hit people always forget about where he just uppercuts you. And great on him for, for great on uh, Sage for not letting go of it. But right now, like, get, 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 like, like you said, that was a really unfortunate stock loss, because now he lost a really good... Oh, you can't challenge Dill up uh, that high, but she can challenge you I, these up airs. Honestly, I respect it. I respect the hell out of it. Um, didn't work out unless... You, you gotta go for it again. Oh, she's up there. Done. He's got a catcher on her landing, and that's what uh, that's what Sage Hunter is doing. Nope. Oh. oh, finally getting her on the wh right where she uh, always likes to be, that right was in the air. Also, pretty low stock. I think Dude was at a hundred after the hit. She was so close to the blast zone. It was just yeah. you're, you're, you kissed the blast zone the entire game. Like, oh, you want to go up there? I got you. Let's kick you real fast up there. Hold up, this game is not looking quite as decisive as uh, I had originally originally sort of made it out to be. Granted, well, hold on a second. Dill kind of struggling to actually finish this stock off. Stage has it's now at too high a percent for these, these kill setups to combo into each other. Oh, Crazy Jar at the moment. Oh, what? Not gain the dare. That was such a good angle. Such a good upbeat. And knowing that the grab is basically the biggest threat right now, Stage has is playing around it beautifully. And that charge stock coming in for clutch. Wow, that lazy. That's it. Oh, that, yeah. Gone. Bye. Yeah, Sage has a really wanted that neutral. That neutral would have been massive if it landed, but Dill just the, shielded it. Look at the extra credit that Sage has was able to get on Dill. This is actually amazing for him right now. He's able to close the stock as fast as he can, unless Dill is able to capitalize on uh, on just raw mechanics and gyro setup that she's been really coming out lately. Uh oh. Huh. Uh, yeah. What will win? A giant energy beam that does 35% or, or one toy. Yeah, or count for toy. <laughs> one plastic boy. <laughs> okay. not, not looking too bad for Dill, but might be so. No jump. No jump, no shot. Yeah. That might have been what happened the first game and why he just drifted out. I don't know. I think maybe he was trying to go for some bomb jump stuff and accidentally drifted back into the blast mm -hmm. zone. This is you saw the jump into it. Look at that. Look at the way if we can go back a bit here. Uh, so here, look at this. Just he jumped, jumped right just swooped. It. Just How swooped. Just if there's any, any way to like go underneath Rob in that moment, he would have been just fine because he was pretty much trapped in that situation where if you if you had kept falling, uh, you're dead. Okay, right here. Yeah. Okay. So. And he was not. He was definitely not. I think that we're seeing the bomb oh. jump. Oh, that he kept looks going backwards. Like a bomb. Yeah. That looks. Like, oh, the bomb the displaced bomb him. him. Mm -hmm. Right. That's what it would have been. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, and based on that game was pretty close. So as we move oh, yeah. into game two, uh, I'm curious to see whether Stage Hazard can shake off a little bit of what happened in that game and just maintain what had really been working out well for him that second stop. Because I definitely can see a very even game if that's the case. All right, here we go. We are going back to small battlefield, banning uh, FD and PS2. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, yeah, I can see why FD was banned. Um, oh, man. Oh, it's worth noting. 
that Rob, I have heard uh, this metal boy described by John Numbers as a zoner that beats other zoners, and that's something we're kind of seeing right now. The fact that Gyro just eats those, uh, ew, Satis doesn't care, but like, you know, Gyro eats the uh, charge shot, Laser can just like punish him across the stage. Uh, but stage has a very commendable then. He's like, well, <laughs> I think of the armor to run more off the stage, but I think that's something that uh, Bob also has the armor to, re the armor to reflect there. There's also just something that negates a lot of the zoners in general. That for I forget that even he even has. Great parry right there. All right, 110% on Dill. Not being big means that you know it's gonna maybe still be a little bit before Stage has and can very reliably take stocks. Uh, but maybe in about another 20, will up here start killing. I feel like once Grab becomes a kill threat for Samus, it just becomes a whole lot. More. I think right now. Oh, is this once again no jump? Oh, no, no. It, it, it don't matter. They side beat. I think by accident. I don't know if that side beat doing them. I think I don't know exactly, but. Uh, regardless, even game nonetheless. Uh, oh, never mind. Ah, I still need him. <gasps> Dill, you're evil. Uh, jump. Gonna make it back. Yeah, down at the sour spot. Nowhere near killing. Yeah, those armors off the ledge are so detrimental for a lot of players. A lot of characters in general, because they have to really uh, work with work with the recovery in creative and creative ways to come back. If they're at that low percentage, like you would die. See that the, the footstool had a hit stun? Uh, I don't know if there is a jump. There is in fact a jump, and with that, the delay will avoid the down air. Up throw, not gonna kill him. Instead, oh. we go for the weirdest of things. Up throw now will finish it. Oh. He, he, he oh. waited on the first up air, but this time he just got caught in that. In that. Is, did Samus get hit by that up air because of the sort of berry animation? I feel like I'll, I don't often see Rob's go for just up air immediately while they're berry. I noticed that they only do it depending on the percentage of the character. I think if it's a lower percentage, they typically do up to into up air, and if they're at higher percentages, they just go straight for up air. Because the, the trajectory, they go faster or, or higher up off of the throw or berry. <laughs> Ooh, charge Shot is not actually a kill move in this game. As we saw right there, Dill surviving. But at 143%, there is... Oh, man, look at that. You air dodge the laser, and you still get hit by the gyro. And, ooh, I think mashing up B right there is why we got the, the second up B. But... Man, it's Oh, like, there were, like I was talking about that rotor reflector coming in clutch. Absolutely. Yeah, great stuff to Dill right there. Kind of hmm? Refe resetting controllers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good stuff to Dill. Just taking that game. You saw effectively playing against Samus. Yep. Normally Samus loves it when the opponent is trapped in the corner. It was just not doing anything against Dill, who is recovering for free. Getting out like off of the ledge pretty easily. The fact that you know had been holding on to that rotor arm until the very end right there paid dividends. That's going to be Dill moving on into, into winner semis, semis, I believe. Semis, I think? Yeah, I think yep, so. Yep, going to be semis. Oh, lol. Ooh, we're going to get numbers, John. Yeah, numbers.